I, I'm for it. I mean, I live in Chelsea. I mean, even though we have a great relationship with our police department in Chelsea, I think that if you implement it slowly out to other communities, it's a good thing. Uh, I personally see a lot of uh, things going on in the cities with cameras. Everywhere you look, there's a camera and the stoplights everywhere. So if you have on your body, when you're arresting someone or communicating with someone, I think it's a good thing to have. Um, as far as enforcing it, it's kind of hard to enforce it, as they had uh, had problems with the, with, the, with the Boston police unions and everything. But I think it's a good thing to have. I mean, the world is changing, and the more cameras we have out here to protect us, not to watch over us, but, but to protect people, I think it's a good cause. Um, I think it's necessary, actually. I think it's good. Um, personally, I've been stopped by the police for no reason, and I think it's, um, especially like my profession and everything, they get caught off guard when I like show my idea and I'm like, oh, this is what I do. And I think a lot of that stuff should be recorded and, um, you know, sent out. Yeah. Because, you know, there's a lot of profiling out there and it sucks. I think it's excellent. They can, uh, you know, the so-called bad officers can be accountable, held accountable for their actions. Um, and maybe it'll stop them from doing the wrong thing. Matter of fact, I changed my mind. <laughs> the camera, yes. It's good? Yes. Okay. But I think other states don't have that problem. I think they just let it keep running. Yeah. And I think that you should have that capability. You shouldn't be able to stop something. Yeah. Because if, 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 I'm, if I'm behind you, arresting you, and then you and I have a little altercation, who knows what happened after that, because the camera's off. You know what I mean? And that's why I think it's a good thing to have cameras. Well, that's not cool. That doesn't really make any sense, honestly. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, there shouldn't be a way that they can shut it off because if you have to shut it off, that means you're hiding something. You know, if you're, if you're doing the right thing, why hide it? You know what I mean? Me and my mom, we was coming from Stop and Shop, but it was a black cops. So um, the black cops asked my mom for her license. So my mom gave her a license. Um, my mom had the, her lights for her to make the left and the right turn. So um, she, um, he said that, um, like he was just yelling at her, you know, like saying appropriate words to her. So we didn't feel uncomfortable, you know. I was in a Penn Station um, over in New York and they stopped me because they thought I looked like some drug dealer. And um, clearly not. <laughs> and they, yeah, they asked me, um, Oh yeah, well, well, I was going to Jersey because I was performing in a show. And I told them that and they're like, oh wait, but you don't know this guy? And they showed me the picture on the phone and I was like, no, no, I don't know who this guy is. And they showed me, they had me show me. It was, it was kind of ridiculous, but like, yeah, another time I got stopped right outside of my house because they said I didn't look like I lived there, but I was in Queens where, you know, everybody looks like everybody, you know what I'm saying? So like, you know, I think it's necessary. To be honest, and I've lived in the city all my life, I'm gonna say no, to be honest. I really haven't, like, when I started here 13 years ago, they didn't understand why I was standing out here because nobody ever uh, controlled the alley. I'm the first person. I understood where they were coming from because this is still the combat zone. So when they saw me out here, I wasn't in, I didn't have Emerson apparel. I was in my own clothing. So they would drive a paddy wagon down, turn it around on the same street, this one way, and come right back up. Talk to me here and there, but now they all pretty much know when they see me standing here, it's Dion, you know what I mean? So, and some of them think I'm the mayor of the block, you know what I mean? We gotta talk to Marty about that. <laughs> no. I know a lot of good, good cops, police officers here in Boston, as well as the police officers in Chelsea. So, they're good, they're doing their job. You know what I mean? Like everybody else, if you give respect, you get respect, right? And that's how it is. All right. Happy holidays.